the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. For those of you who have come with burdens, I assure you that you are watching your burden look at you for the last time. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a God in heaven, and that God will surprise you tonight. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Saints of God, let's stretch our hands to any direction where you can find someone visiting for the first time. Just speak words of faith. We are people favored by God. We are people anointed. And I want you to really believe. We are praying for you now. Father, lift them. Grant them access to your light. Grant them access to your power. For those following online from whatever nation of the world you're connecting from, in the name of Jesus, we agree with you that the Lord will do you good tonight. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless every one of you once again, and thank you for coming. Please sit. Thank you. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 12. Just to admonish our hearts and we'll trust God for a very, very quick walk tonight. There's a lot to do. Hebrews chapter 12, we'll read from verse 22. Paul is speaking by the Spirit. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 22. But ye are come unto Mount Zion and unto the city of the living God. The Bible calls it the heavenly Jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels to the general assembly the church of the firstborn which are written in heaven to the God the judge of all and to the spirit of just men made perfect you are also come to Jesus the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. Now, every time we come, it looks to us like we're just coming to honor a program. But the Bible says where we are is called Mount Zion. And that there are several supernatural activities that happen there. And it's important for us to believe these things. The second scripture that I want us to look at very quickly is Revelations chapter 22 and verse 2. Please give it to us very quickly. Revelations chapter 22 and verse 2. Please pay attention and hold the person who will run now. The power of God is coming on one person who will start to run so that you can just hold the person down. This is what I just saw in my vision. Um, supernatural things happen because God is at work and everywhere the Spirit of the Lord is. The Bible says there is liberty. And so God knows how he visits his people. Our assignment is to open up the bowels of faith to allow the Spirit of God flow as he pleases. Revelation chapter 22. And for that person, it is a mighty already. It's liberty for that person. <laughs> Verse 2, in the midst of the street of it, please let me have your attention, and on either side of the river was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit, how long? Every month. From that tree, every month there was a supernatural allocation that means what god did last month is not what he's doing today the bible says they bear 12 kinds and if he said it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness that means no matter what you have received 
you have not seen it in this manner and you have not seen it in this fashion 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruits every month and the bible says the leaves of that tree were for the healing of the nation i just want to admonish us for a few minutes and then we'll pray my heart is really heavy and i really really believe that god wants to truly end certain things in people's lives and destinies once and for all hallelujah the bible lets us know that in christ please look up we have been called to a life of victory please say victory scatter through scripture are the possibilities of the kingdom that makes for the victory of the saints we are not only called to love god we are not only called to serve god we are not only called to be used by god we are also called to be partakers of the victory that comes with this life it is important for you to understand that the dimension of our work with god that makes for victory is a possibility we must continually contend for until it is fully captured in our lives now thanks be to god the bible says that causes us always to triumph hallelujah the bible wants us to produce results in our lives john 15 verse 8 jesus is speaking herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit he says by so doing you will prove that you are my disciples when he saw the tree that had leaves but no fig the bible said in that scripture that the figs grow together with the leaves but this time around it had leaves and no figs and it cost it he said that no man will eat from you thereof hallelujah so god desires and, and it's important please listen very carefully we must never allow ourselves to be so used to suffering to be so used to pain now whether we suffer or not it should never interrupt our commitment and our love for god however god's design is not to serve him in suffering god's design is not to serve him in failure and defeat that is why when we serve him under that condition it means a lot because we were not designed that way are we together so we must continually contend to see the reality of the victory that is in christ fully manifest in our lives hallelujah and the holy spirit put something in my heart to just share with us and i want us to please pay attention I have found out that I wrote something down here that I want to just quote and then I'll just discuss a few minutes and then we'll pray. Living in victory requires thinking victorious thoughts. Please understand this, that there is a relationship between the victory that happens in a man's life and the quality of your thoughts and your understanding. Thinking like Christ, we call it. It is not enough to believe God for miracles. It is not enough to believe God for signs, for wonders. It is not enough to believe God to lift people out of burdens and yokes. Many believers do not pay attention to the quality of their thoughts, their understanding, and how it partners with darkness or partners with the Holy Spirit in establishing their victory i wrote this down and i want you to listen very carefully every challenge in this life has a mindset support system every challenge in this life has a mindset support system that means it has a thinking system that supports the arrival or the continuity of that challenge every challenge at all you will ever face in life has a mindset support system that means it cannot continue until there is a thinking that supports the activity of that spirit every challenge in life has a mindset support system that a thinking system that is that supports the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem every victory in christ also in this kingdom has a mindset support system 
please understand this that both the tragedies that we experience in our lives and the victory that we receive as wrought by christ require a mindset support system the theology of victory is that all victorious living starts from the realm of the spirit routed in christ but then it will pass through the gateway of our thinking to find expression in the physical world this is very important nothing remains in a believer's life indefinitely until there is a mindset support system that allows it please listen to what i tell you whether it is poverty whether it is failure now it may not be caused by a mindset it may be an attack but the attack is at the mercy of the mindset support system a thinking system that will partner with darkness to keep that person indefinitely in that situation that means total victory is not just in praying for the sick it's not just in giving money listen it's not just in even getting people saved or born again total victory is when you allow the entire tripartite dimensions of a man to experience this victory number one that man must be in contact with the christ he's the basis of all victory are we together now number two the superior information that is based on scripture must be allowed to permeate that person's thinking let me show you a scripture that will bless you philippians chapter 4 and verse 8 paul is teaching the church in philippi and here's what he has to say finally brethren so he's talking to brethren those who are of the fold he says whatsoever things are true everybody say truth whatsoever things are honest say honesty whatsoever things are just say justice whatsoever things are pure say purity whatsoever things are lovely say love whatsoever things are of good report it says if there be any virtue and if there be any praise think on these things you are given the boundary as a believer to guard your mind that means that you have a responsibility to protect your mind to not vacillate indefinitely it is your responsibility now watch this satan is master of the flesh realm look up please the realm of the senses and the realm of the flesh is the domain of satan the flesh is generally defined number one as a nature and then number two a way of thinking that is alienated from the life and the character of the christ so when the bible talks of the flesh number one it means the nature of the fallen man but number two it means a system of thinking a theology of understanding that is not consistent with the character of the christ and the bible says to guard our minds very diligently please listen to me you will strangle any problem to death when it does not find a mind support system any challenge whatsoever is already on its way to expiry when your mind does not support its continuity whether it is poverty whether it is an attack whether it is a cause whatsoever it is so satan maintains continuity of darkness by number one allowing the spirit influences to manipulate the sense realm the things you see the things you hear are we together all of these sense realms they begin to create aberrated views they may be real from the third dimensional realm but the bible says while we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen you can look at the things that are unseen why because the things that are seen are temporal the word temporal means subject to change there are conditions that can allow that thing change there is no end to the trouble that will come to a believer's life who does not construct his thoughts and his understanding to reflect christ any problem listen let me tell you this now please don't feel insulted we have medical people here and i learned that the way what we call hiv are we together the virus the deadly virus i and i was told one time by a doctor he was telling me how it works he told me hiv itself is not a sickness are we together hiv is a state 
is a medical condition, a biological condition that is aimed at weakening are we together now the strength the support system so it kills the support system of the body down not just the white blood cells it it shuts down everything that has the fortitude of creating strength and defense in the body so that any sickness even if it's malaria can kill you this is how a mindset is a mindset works like hiv a mindset is a universal invitation for any trouble to be to part that means it is a ready participant any tragedy you are welcome the thing that i feared most have come upon me job said please listen so satan uses fear number one satan uses the negative testimonies of others who are like you you are in a situation with another person and he says you see how my life is how is your own experience and while you are standing in faith you look at him and you say we are the same we are age mates the same region and so i should not act stupid and you begin to dance to the music of the flesh the moment you allow your thinking to go outside the boundary the provisions allocated by the word of god just know that you are already in partnership it's another kind of koinonia too the moment your mind is thinking wrong you just started a service but that service now is not under the influence of the holy spirit it's a partnership with any kind of tragedy that will eventually find finally brethren in addition to all that i have told you in addition to the systems that guarantee victory in the kingdom they are all nonsense if you ignore this whatsoever things are true and now you see i've taught you this again and again we live in a society that is negative by default are we together you annoy people when you are happy you annoy people when you are joyful you sing a song of praise and everybody is frowning and say are you the only person in this world see so we are trained to be negative the moment you are negative you become sympathetic to humans apostle you are talking like this because you've not lost any loved one apostle in the last one month my life has gone haywire finance went down and everything went down the bible says rejoice in the lord always and again it is not an encouragement it's a warning it's a precaution no matter what happens guard certain things including your joy because joy is responsible for strength joy is responsible for harvest two things you need in your life when you lose harvest you lose strength and you lose the fortitude for harvest you are finished so we continue to embrace a negative disposition and let me tell you this every time you search for trouble and a reason to be angry in your life you will find it at whatever level even if you don't find it the devil will help you to sympathize for other people that have no business with you it is true that you can cry it is true that you can be in pain it's true that your humanity can relate to something that brings you pain but it's a choice you are going to have to choose that i got the boundaries of my mind please never forget this teaching that's why there are people no matter what kind of deliverance happens to them the devil is more than glad to leave them because he knows he will be back shortly it's like you take a little break in transmission mass communicators when they talk they say okay we now go on a little transmission that's what deliverance is for many people because the devil knows that inevitably there is a, a belief system that has become almost an eternal support system for him are we together it is the reason why there are dimensions of deliverance that are preached not conducted to preach deliverance to the captives do something to their belief systems so i've said that every challenge in life has a mindset or requires a mindset support system a thinking system that supports both the arrival of that problem and the continuity of that problem complaining a mindset murmuring a mindset being did you know there are people for instance come my dear watch this there are people that can 
stand god can do 30 things wonderful things and then just one challenge a headache trouble some challenge in the job place and they will act as if god never blessed them in this life let me tell you that kind of thinking you will gain a lot of acceptance but you will suffer indefinitely the choice is yours it's amazing how sometimes we complain as though god has never shown us his faithfulness we complain as if god has never given you a dream we complain as if god has never granted you favor we never we trivialize the salvation that we have we trivialize the good friends he's given us we trivialize access to truth even though you have not received the truth you have access to it already philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ jesus you must intentionally acknowledge every good thing apostle i have big head what about other part of your body have you celebrated god's faithfulness for it you, you see how negative we are apostle every month malaria typhoid they, we, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it kill me you see that's partnership and when you continue saying it you will invite a spirit that has no business coming to your domain remember the, the, i've taught you this the law of consistency the spirit will say someone is calling me and he will come and say what's going on here and your complaint continues to allow it tabernacle with you i will never say anything negative about myself let critics say it not you are we together mm. someone once told me and said apostle you love yourself i said what's the meaning of that of course i love myself why will i want somebody to love what i hate are we together you hate yourself and you want someone to love you That's why all this fantasy of hanging yourself writing a letter write no letter to nobody <laughs> oh i'm tired of this life and things are you know and you just hang yourself it's a foolish way of dying it's better to serve god and be tired or do some or serve society hang yourself and, and waste bodies are we together yes this is an admonishment we are going to pray this night is a very serious night so many of us continue to partner with demons remember i taught you what um apostle paul said he said the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith are we together and that they will give heed to seducing spirits not just demonic spirits seduction spirits and i've taught you that the character of seduction is that seduction cannot work until it finds something that you are vulnerable to if you are not hungry the seduction towards gluttony cannot work if you don't like women the seduction towards women cannot work if you don't like power the sedu so seduction studies you it studies your goals it studies your visions it studies your desires it studies your aspiration and it builds an attack based on that information that's how seduction works or if it does not find anything it studies what god is doing and creates a system there when seduction knows that isaac is coming to put hagar close by so that you now bring ishmael who will fight with isaac and punish the nations seducing spirits and the doctrines of demons are we together yes you must make up your mind that this life of refusing this life of seeing negative things let me tell you this world is whatever you say it is there are people right now their viewpoint of the world is a place of bomb blast boko haram wickedness selfishness 
and they are right and it will become because whatever adam called it that was the name thereof are we together yes you call yourself things god did not call and there are people this world no matter how negative it is they choose to see what god is doing they choose to see the god that lifts they choose to see a destiny that is bright they choose to see a life that insists until god is glorified it will always be unto you according to your faith hallelujah most bitterness that happens in our world as a result of people who feel miserable about themselves and they are not satisfied being miserable alone they will continue to make sure that others join them in feeling miserable with all that is happening in the world god is still on his throne and there is joy unspeakable in heaven full of glory jesus only wept on earth he would not cry again there is no reason for him to cry again Are we together so you must make up your mind we are going to pray shortly people will be healed be delivered god is going to be lifting people but let me tell you these experiences will never last in fact for some it will never happen until you trust god today and say this negative sadist devilish antichrist kind of partnership that i continue to provide with challenges in my life there are people who look wrinkled you almost think they are 50 until they tell you i'm just 27. you say it's a lie are you sick no but i said the way the world is who is fine don't talk like that please take seriously what i tell you your victory is not only tied to christ alone it's tied to your understanding your mind is very creative but it's also obedient in my world i see victory i really do i really do in my world i see the life and the power of god in my world i see christ glorified in my world i see lives being changed in my world i see the the powers of darkness continually dislodged in my life i see longevity listen very carefully in my life i see prosperity in my life i see an opportunity to serve the purposes of god with my life forever in my life i see continuous triumph i have taken out time by the word of god and by the spirit to make that understanding become a stronghold in my mind are we together in my mind i see power and anointing someone someone once asked me and said apostle is it that god tells you he's going to move in a meeting what gives you confidence and i said god me and history <laughs> history history is the basis for mastery i don't try to have faith in god when he will move we've left that level i know i trust him it's a realm of koinonia oneness certainty certainty let me show you something Luke chapter 1. Please give it to us. Luke chapter 1. We'll read the first three or four verses. Look up, please. For as much as many have taken in hand to set in order the declaration of those things which are mostly secured, believe, are most surely believed among us. Verse 2. Even as they delivered them unto us, which from the beginning were eyewitnesses, listen, and ministers of the word. Verse 3 it seemed good having had what perfect understanding of all things from the very first to write unto thee in order most excellent theophilus what is the purpose verse 4 that thou mightest know the certainty of those things wherein thou hast been instructed they are not cunningly vice fables the goal of writing this to you is that i was an eyewitness to these things and i want to write to you so that i solidify and clean up any gray areas that might make you doubt the certainty of what you have received this is dr luke writing to theophilus and telling him what is going on that means so that when you stand to declare a thing you are not hoping in the secret you are right the certainty 
of these things when you say god lifts and god can change lives as a preacher you are you are a funny preacher if you don't believe it how then does the power flow power does not just flow through your hands it flows through your understanding it's very important you you know this are you getting what i'm saying the certainty of those things so you must walk on your mind philippians chapter 2 same philippians notice that paul paul seemed to drum it in this church in philippi this issue of mindset chapter 2 and verse 5 he now encourages the saints let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus he's teaching here that for you to establish victory in your life you must allow the mind to be in you there was an understanding that jesus had there was a belief system that jesus had any trouble is frustrated when your mind does not partner with it every victory that comes from christ is also frustrated when you do not have a mindset requirement poverty depends on a mindset to stay infirmity depends on a mindset to stay causes and yokes and all kinds of things depend on a mindset to stay i think it was a preacher one time i don't know where i heard this um but there was a preacher one time who um spoke about is it the 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 elephant that is used in a circus how that they would chain the elephant or something like that and then it was used to a rope being tied and it was limited and that because of the it, it was already used to it one time they even removed the rope and the elephant would not go past that because it, the rope has been tied in his mind the worst way to bind people is to bind them in their minds when i bind you in your mind i can lose your hands you are in a bigger prison are we together so you must learn to stand in faith with god and believe with him some of you may have never received properly the miracle service because you are hoping that you will come and watch others get blessed would you leave such a distance to just come and clap for others there is a level of insistence the woman with the issue of blood said if i may but touch the hem of his garment she kept rehearsing before the arrival of jesus blind but Tim, you said all of you have eyes i have an eye too but i can't see and if jesus is passing around let me just hear the sound of jesus and i will cry thou son of david have mercy on me there is a level of insistence that will force darkness to go are we together tonight so i want you to believe listen let me tell you this it is powerful when the power of god flows in and to and through a mindset that has been so constructed you will see the potentials of the life of god we have many destructive belief systems that continue to short circuit the power of god you can pray for a lady like this for instance in the name of jesus may god give you a great life partner but she already has a destructive mindset that will never even allow the life partner see her her mindset has become darkness a depraved selfish unspiritual mind full of low esteem which god's son will see that kind of that kind of um, scenario and be glad to come and marry and there are men with self-centered self-destructive attitudes so listen you have a responsibility and this is the part of the gospel that i think we must balance in church the gospel that continues to say god is exclusively responsible he is responsible for betting the victory but you are responsible for partnering for the transfer and the manifestation to happen in your life it is true and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped the vessel in this case can be your mindset the vessel in this case can be your understanding is god speaking to us tonight someone can be here and you can make up your mind and say lord from january till october i thank you but i've not seen the prophetic word you've given me i'm insisting 
that this night is not only my night of reception it's my night of recovery and that by next miracle service i'm only coming to testify and clap for others i i name today as the day of my salvation hallelujah yes god is able the bible says it now unto him ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 who is able to do exceeding abundantly far above all we ask or think not ask or sing ask or think and then it says according to the power not lives in him the power allowed to walk in us the power allowed to walk in us god's power is like a dam the one allowed to walk in you is like the the opening of the tap you can open a tap so small that it brings water drop by drop you have short-circuited the potential of the dam the dam is misrepresented by the allowance that the tap gives are we together so god wants to bring us to a point where he will move us into dimensions of grace dimensions of victory now thanks be to god now thanks be to god now thanks be to god what does it take for god to change a family listen let me tell you this look up don't get used to pain and don't get used to failure continue to insist until your life reflects christ this is this is where the labor of a believer is in the spirit your insistence until the things that you now see become the things you do not see insistence lord it is not your will for this family to be in poverty begging from hand to mouth anointed but begging anointed but begging anointed but begging every good thing that happens in the family you receive it with fear because you know it will not last and you are right it will not last because it was only received momentarily it was not sustained by a requisite level of mindset that will keep it whatever your mind holds is yours forever truly whatever your mind holds is yours if your mind holds trouble is truly yours if your mind holds victory it is yours are we together so you must insist this night there are all kinds of things god wants to do listen let me tell you this very quickly in a miracle service god does many things a miracle service is not just a healing service a miracle service is a service that allows for the power of god to birth and sustain supernatural solutions everybody say supernatural solutions solutions whose origin and operation is higher than the realm of men it truly is stupid for an individual to sit down and start asking can god change my life in one day can god change my life in two days can god turn my family before november god are we together are you guys done have you fixed it it's not working okay so please let's work on it as fast as we can make up your mind that my life must become an expression of the beauty and the glory of god make it a project it doesn't matter where you are now make up your mind that my family must become a reflection of the beauty and the glory of god as at the time you are speaking you may not have where to live as at the time you are speaking there's no food even at home now to eat don't worry stand in faith don't fake anything there's no need faking anything because there's no need faking what can be real you've heard me say there is no point faking anointing there is no point faking power in ministry you can stand and say lord as it is right now my church looks like a place where people just stop to drink water because of how powerless it is but lord let something from heaven come upon my church and i stand in faith and i believe with you everybody you pray for is not healed everybody you speak over is not changed but no problem you stand and look at your siblings 
and nobody in that house looks like the future everybody looks like the past stand in faith i refuse to give my the, my mindset as a donation everybody in your family is not married everybody in your family has no children don't partner with the devil they have all donated their mindsets be the last key that will refuse satan and say no way if god is finding hope in this family let my mindset be the gateway that allows god to come in please hear what i tell you not elder sister no child this one no child you two you have been married how long say two and a half years say all of us are the same you have you are the last card that god is depending upon to become the doorway for his power to come and now the devil is tricking you through frustration to donate your mindset if everybody in your family is failing you can stand and say lord find one doorway that can allow you remember there is no miracle until there is at least five loaves and two fish you have to give god something the five loaves will allow other loaves come hallelujah i never think failure i truly mean it i'm not just talking i never think defeat i believe i'm victorious i live in the consciousness of the jealousy of god over my life it's true i have loved thee with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness it's not just scripture to me it is life it is god revealing his intent to me this ministry will never go down it will continue to be from glory to glory it is true no 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 I, i'm being as honest and modest with you as as possible because retrogression has an explanation you can explain why things deplete you can explain why things retrogress and you can explain why things will remain afloat regardless of what happens hallelujah you are here tonight in this place in the presence of god you are here tonight many of you have traveled from several nations some of you have traveled from different places to come please hear me my brothers and my sisters the first miracle that god is doing tonight is calling your attention to the partnership that your thought life would have been creating with the devil we call all kinds of nonsense hakanea laishiria does it look like god if you were god is that how you will walk are we together now you must insist and say no this is not the character of god this is not the best of god god cannot bring 11 children to be scrounging from hand to mouth and the only employed person in that family is earning fifteen thousand. god is not wicked something is wrong the moment you call darkness darkness then light can fight it when it has to do with dealing with issues don't be ashamed don't be afraid to stand on god's side are we together so a miracle service allows the multifaceted dimensions of god's power to find expression some of you are here trusting god to break and crack down yokes of infirmity once and for all but do you believe do you agree with god apostle i'm ss this thing will never change it will be unto you according to your faith apostle i know i'm just here no problem they will lay hands on me but that that persuasion is not yet there apostle i believe god will prosper me but in your mind you are looking at that class you are looking at um the fact that your only uncle that had access to bail all of you out died last year and you say it has finished no apostle there have been too much delay in my life by now i should be at this level at this level but restoration is possible let your mind open that door see when you know who god is you don't, there is no fear and regret in your life because the bible says for we know the rest don't know but we who are in the kingdom and are aware of the systems of advantage provided for by god in christ we know that in a believer's life there is nothing that is really a disadvantage it's true if you were employed as a graduate in 2000 by now you most likely with diligence and service minus corruption and wickedness you probably would be a director by now are we together yes 
and now you've not even gotten a job so if you get a job now most likely you are over age already they will not employ you and so you can sit down and say this thing self i'm dead is finished it's over because you have given god you have told god how to move in your life and not allowed him move how he wants to move god if it's must you move this way and god says i want to do more than you can imagine and he will have to make do with the allowance that your mindset allows him but someone can say lord i'm tired of allowing you to pass through my life only through salary thank you for salary but el shaddai where are you answer my family That is the day you will see what will happen one day and it will look to you like a dream someone will call you and say the lord instructed me to transfer 30 million to this family you say please tell the fcc before you talk to me Let, let's just be sure you are genuine and they say god instructed me and i'm obedient then you will now know that the testimony of others are not a lie pain can make you think everyone is lying did god really step in like that did god really anoint you like that hallelujah expect god to step into your family expect god to step into your life expect god to put favor upon you the reason why people succeed in this life the favor of god is true expect it life by default and without the assistance of god is impossible to live it's not hard it's impossible you will never be able to walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and live life as it should be unassisted by god no so he interjects your life with different systems of advantage like mercy like favor like speed like restoration all these things are divine forces that work together to make your life become what the word of god says should become so a woman here for instance who has been barren say for six seven years now if god gives you one child that's good news but that's progress not restoration because you will still have to wait three years get pregnant again wait three years get pregnant you must add 12 years to have the four children so god gives you triplets in nine months now that one is no longer progress that's restoration he has brought nine years spacing in nine months are we together God calculates your salary like Arias and brings it through favor in one transfer. God shifts you to a level of anointing that you should have walked in. Had it been your uncle allowed you to be diligent, attending church, serving in the house of God, there are certain levels in the spirit you would have walked in right now. But because he stopped you and clamped you down and things didn't look like they were walking, many things just went down in your life and because of that watch this because of that you got grounded and could not know god fast and god can lead you to an uncommon mentorship an uncommon anointing in six months you will receive a grace that is 15 years old <laughs> hallelujah Jacob collected Esau's birthright. He didn't know that Esau was supposed to suffer seven years. When he collected his birthright, Esau's own plus his own, he served 14 years. It's not about exchanging of women. It's destiny playing out. Their family had delay. I hope you know. From Abraham, it was a challenge. So both of the sons individually, whether they was collecting birthright or not, they would have paid their seven years. Watch this. But Jacob collected his sons. It only played out using women. But it still played out. That means you can collect someone's speed too. You see that? It's true. Sit down. Please sit down. You can come with a load that is supposed to be 10 years according to the normal sequence of occurrence based on the allowance your family gives and you come under the influence of a covenant that forces your life to look like the grace upon that territory it's true find a way of believing what i'm saying i've shown you luke chapter one to tell you the certainty of these things 
it is not those who like you that bless you alone it's those who are directed for everybody to like you do you know how long it takes to like a man sometimes you just need to hear god and obey fast your life requires speed hallelujah there are times because of what god wants to do in your life when he finds out that four people need to be blessed to reach you whether they are praying or not he will hurry them quickly because they are delaying you he will hurry them for your sake when you come for a meeting like this be conscious of four things number one be conscious of every prophetic word that comes relating to your issues of concern be conscious of it when these words come don't think they are just empty speakings the carnal man cannot discern the things of god the word of god is like a tray you have to receive the tray before you receive what is on it are we together now the word of god is a tray it carries miracles carries deliverance carries healings so when you receive the word the engrafted word you now take what is in it be conscious of the prophetic word number two be conscious of the covenant covenant is a very deep spiritual word many people just shout covenant around but they don't even know what it means listen a covenant is a system that commits god and causes him to vow to ensure that a person or an institution continues to receive certain predictable outcomes it's a covenant there is the covenant of answered prayer there is the covenant of god's presence there is a covenant of results every man that god truly calls and every ministry that god truly ordains there are underlying spiritual covenants the platform upon which god put his vow and his integrity that has touching this and this i will make happen it's true also be conscious of the graces you see that the graces that are available within that territory you cannot receive a man's covenant you can only partake of it but you can receive graces you are a pastor you come and your church is grounded you only have 50 members during your annual thanksgiving thank god for that but something is wrong god is a god of increase you can come with hearts open to receive the grace how about hardship things not working well how about your spiritual growth you are at the same level for five years the knowledge of scripture zero health of your prayer life zero you are a man of god and nobody is placing a demand on the grace of god that you have it will frustrate you eventually but there are graces every possibility in the kingdom is governed by an operation of grace when that grace comes upon your life your result shows thou anointest my head with oil the result shows through my cup he does not anoint your cup he anoints your head your cup proves what is on your head are we together now so this is very important thank you and you have to understand the way this works we're going to pray shortly and i need you to know how this works i want you to receive be conscious of the graces not some of you may not need may not need a miracle like miracle from sickness or whatever but understand that when you come it's like an exchange of graces listen the bible says give us please second corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8 please give it to us quickly second corinthians 9 and verse 8 praise the lord read with me please koinonia ready one to read stop 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 god is able to make all grace let me explain that to you please all of you come stand anywhere you want to stand just stand anywhere scatter yourself around don't come close to me just stand watch this call these guys graces the grace for prosperity the grace for favor the grace for speed the grace for spiritual fire the grace for influence watch this access to the hearts of men this is you this is your destiny and the bible says the way we advance is that we need to be in touch with all graces not some 
I can have the grace for prosperity and I'm rich, but I suffer, but I succeed. You are rich, but no man helps you because you don't have favor. You only have prosperity. The proof of favor is not money. It's the loyalty of men. If you do not have access to the hearts of men, you don't have favor. You may have resources. So this guy has prosperity. So he will labor, wake up in the morning, sleep late in the night, eat the bread of sorrow, mix it with hard work, and eventually prosper. But as far as spiritual fire is concerned, the grace that plants in a man, the hunger and the passion for the things of God is not in him. So that grace is not there. He has some, but not all. And the part, the grace dimension he does not have, the deficiency of it will show in his life. He is getting richer, but not as his soul prospers. This is the grace he needs. When you pray and intercede for this man now, God will answer your prayer by channeling him to a ministry or a man of God that has this dimension. So that in addition it will be added to him. Are we together now? Now listen very carefully please. Look up everybody. So God is, one of the things that happens here is that the spirit of God continues to move like a wind and he scans your life which grace do you need in this season that you do not yet have this is one of the biggest miracle that happens in a miracle service most people do not know you sit under this atmosphere and there is an updating it's like a software god finds out that this level you are entering into there are at least 21 graces but as it is there are only four so while the meeting worship is going prayer is going there is an upgrade that grace so here's what the bible says god is able to make hold my hands so you come for koinonia miracle service dry nothing is on your head and nothing is around your life too because what is around you is a is a report card telling what is on you are we together now you obtain the grace that makes for abundance for the sake and the grace for wealth that works in this ministry forces you to love god while you are wealthy if you receive a grace that makes you wealthy and as you are rising in wealth you are leaving god that anointing did not come from this ministry the grace for this ministry has been it has been edited through a covenant to ensure that as men rise their hearts also rise for god not the kind of nonsense money that makes you leave god you don't honor anything that has to do with god again no it is as you prosper even as your soul prospers it's babylon that gives wealth that prospers you and diminishes your soul watch this so you receive this grace and then the holy spirit finds out grace for what favor come watch this praise and worship you got this one during praise and worship you didn't even know why you felt like falling you just thought that ah the song was so nice something had landed on your head are we together now this is speed hold me now my dear watch this this is what is happening in koinonia you are sitting down but you just know that there is a weight that glory something is coming on you you can't tell you are not even falling you are not shouting you will look at someone shouting and feel bad and feel like i i wish i'm the person falling whereas the holy ghost is doing very serious things and then access to the hearts of men this is your package for miracle service now you receive this watch this we now share the grace watch this watch this remember you traveled from another nation the uk us kenya wherever and then you just came and at the end of the service satan can even fool you you are from kenya oh i see please sit down madam i see how it's a kenyan uh, god bless you now watch this you can receive this and while you receive it they will share the grace and you will still feel like nothing came on you but you see the exam is not marked in church go out listen please koinonia understand what i teach you and god is able you came for a meeting and you carried this in two days someone who forgot you no listen he does not just remember i've taught you this last week a book is open in the realm of the spirit by reason of the grace that you carry watch this in one week 
a strange grace for illumination you think hold on you think is the spirit of revelation it's not revelation it's speed it's just that speed demands revelation there are graces when you carry they call others too so that they will work well in your life and god is able god is able god is able there are people because of the graces you carry you will sustain the grace to fast for three days for one week remember that was a condition god gave you to allow your spirit allow him do certain things but the fortitude to fast that long was not there so the grace comes and while you wait upon the lord 10 years immediately is released within one month listen if all you see is just physical healings and deliverances you are not seeing well the major part of what calls listen one of the major reasons why god sends people from other nations and other places to this place is number one to be able to stand by the grace he has provided for to solve their problems but more than that to expose you to ancient mantles these are graces that were there by covenant listen there is nothing i carry that is as old as me everything i carry is older than me by far we are only stewards the grace predates us it's a relay we are running others ran it and god added on it and gave us to hold it for a generation to know the certainty of the things whereof you have been instructed please hear me if you believe what i share with you tonight you will marvel and you will wonder you can choose tonight to agree with god that every challenge except it does not have a name that in this place this night god will bring it down we are going to have like 10 minutes of serious prayer now listen please during that time of prayer forget about who is by your left and right forget about me just stay with god and pray passionately for the next 10 minutes lord i came for an encounter i came to receive healing i came to receive deliverance but i came to also attach myself to covenants i came by the spirit to receive graces outside inside online lift your voice and pray be restoration please bring them out quickly 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 let's save time please in the break a ticket to Sheila Qatar restoration now I speak it by the spirit the power of God is still coming on people recover recover by the spirit recover I stretch my hands recover by the power of prophecy recover Recover years lost. Recover opportunities. E Paris ke barashanda la katariata. Recover in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare God is bringing recovery. Let me tell you, you will marvel and wonder that the things you thought has left you, you are about to find it waiting for you in your tomorrow. I speak to you, may that grace come upon you now again. Recovery. Recovery, recovery, Shamana Katabadakata, restoration. I want to take authority over the spirit of delay. I'm seeing many people, your feet is chained in the spirit. You want to make progress, but you cannot make progress. Fire is falling from heaven now. I decree and declare inside, outside, all the overflows. Anyone under the sound of my voice who is under the influence. Of the spirit of delay at the count of three may fire from heaven fall upon those chains one two three I break those chains now be free now from delay be free now be free now be free now, be free now. 
I will hasten my word to perform it. I will not just perform it. I will give speed to my word. The word is quick and powerful. I declare again, any family here, any individual under the yoke of delay, I speak to you by the spirit. That yoke is broken now. That yoke is broken now. Broken by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray. Please listen. I have prayed this prayer. And for those of you who have missed it in time past. May God grant you the grace to receive it now. Listen. Truly speaking. There is a grace for speed. Please hear me. A man's lifetime cannot allow the fullness of the purposes of God to be birthed. Some of you gave your life to Christ late already in life. It's not enough to rebuke delay. You must obtain the grace for speed. And watch this. I'm about to pray for people now. And that anointing is coming on people. As usual, you'll find people running by the Spirit. But I need to release that anointing. Father, I stand under heaven in this miracle service. There are people who have traveled from several nations and several territories at the count of three for you and for your family. That dimension of speed where 10 years can be put in one year. I declare right now, let it come upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Speed. Parush Kabarakata. Speed. Career speed. I give speed to your life, speed to ministry. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace right now. Speed. Hello, Madonna. Hallelujah. Mommy. Please look at me, ma. Don't be embarrassed. I don't know you, but I'm seeing strong witchcraft over your family. Where are you coming from, madam? Madam, I'm looking at you. I'm seeing River State. Where are you from? States. Huh? States. River State. Yes, sir. The Lord says I should tell you that from this night, things will change in your life. She's your mother. Help that woman, please. I'm looking at the Lord in the spirit. I'm putting my hand inside a river. And I'm bringing something out. And the Lord says it's the destiny of this family. In the name of Jesus. That's the daughter. I command by the spirit. Every planting that is not of the Lord. I overturn and I uproot now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is Naomi? I'm hearing a name Naomi we have to hurry up I want to pray for the sick Naomi hello Kim Madonna the Naomi I'm talking about is outside where are you coming from come stand your name is not Naomi is your name Naomi what's your name Come, stand. Where are you coming from, my dear? From where? I want to pray for you. Your name is Naomi. Come and stand. We have to hurry up. Hold on. I cancel CS. I, Madam, look at me. I stretch my hands now. I cancel CS. By the spirit of the living God and I decree and declare like the Hebrew women you will give birth in the name of Jesus Christ I'm saying it again I correct what I'm seeing in the name of Jesus this is what doctors say baby is breached in the name of Jesus by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I correct it now may you give birth normally like the Hebrew women in Jesus name let me pray
Are you married? You are backing a baby. Where is the baby? I'm looking at you in a vision. That's why I'm saying, oh, how can this? You know, I'm saying you came to Koinonia. You are backing a baby outside. This is the vision. I'm... You are not getting what I'm saying. Is this? You were backing this baby when I mentioned your case. Huh? Were you backing a baby? That's why I'm saying, are you married? Because you look too small to be a married woman. This is the real person I want to pray for. Bring this little baby. God is, I don't know whose child is this. Your child. But God, this lady you see is going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God. She looks like a little girl. In the name of Jesus. What's her name? Nicole. Nicole. She may not know what we are doing, but we stand in the presence of the people of God. We anoint this lady. May she become a Deborah to her generation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My dear, let me pray for you. Where are you from? Kogi State. I want to pray for you. Ah. Immediately she mentioned Kogi State. I saw what I used to see now. Now I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. And I'm seeing the power of God going to Kogi State. Kogi State. I'm praying now. It's a sign and wonder. Every time I see that, if you are from that locality, the power of God comes on you immediately. In the name of Jesus, I command witchcraft associated with that territory. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Hallelujah. Who is Magdalene? Magdalene, my dear, come. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. There is grace. You look young. But you are going to be a mother to men. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord anoint you and make it so. My dear, I rebuke the hand of witchcraft now. Release her. I'm seeing chains on you. I declare by the Spirit, release this lady now. I'm about to minister deliverance shortly. Release her now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring someone in overflow too now. A lady. The power of God is coming upon that lady. Now, as I speak, overflow too. Mighty fire of God is coming. Please bring her quickly. We have to save time. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come, my dear. The grace that will want to make married men disturb you. Look at me. I come against that spirit now. Not only you. There are five other people I'm seeing. I don't know where they are. But in Jesus' name, there is a, like, like, a, like an, almost like an evil anointing that makes only married people to look for you. In the name of Jesus, by the God of heaven, I lift that negative thing off your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I hear the name Magdalene. I don't know if Magdalene, I want to pray very quickly. We have to pray for the sick. You are the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Yahweh, the covenant keeping God. Your name is Magdalene. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I decree and declare by the spirit of the living God. I'm seeing your feet in mud. In the name of Jesus, I lift you out of this tragedy. By the power of the Holy Spirit. And I speak to this lady. I'm seeing this lady but all I'm seeing is snakes. Completely. I declare be free now. By the spirit of the living God. 
the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty be free right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost let me pray for you my dear grace for you the favor that is on your life I command it to start speaking it will not only be a name that is on you it will speak right now in Jesus name your sister your name is Magdalene come in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you look at me the Lord is taking away shame and reproach from your life these two things shame and reproach shame and reproach shame and reproach please stand up I speak to you by the God of heaven the month of November a big miracle is coming to your life a big miracle I lay my hands upon you and I declare in the name of Jesus be free right now why is this girl here this Magdalene come my dear I pray for you place your hand on your head I declare oh God let this chain be taken now I'm seeing a chain on this girl's head be removed now be removed this like the devil wanting to just bring this lady under captivity I remove it right now in the name of Jesus Christ somebody lay your hands on her so anybody just touch her release her now by the Spirit of God there's no place for you take everything that belongs to her restore it and go now now please listen I want to minister deliverance please believe it you may not know the woman from Kenya come it's time for God to change your life please stand up when did you come here uh, yesterday yesterday yes. you came here God is about to turn your life around Amen. You are still coming and you are coming with four people the next time you are coming. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. Madam, what do you do? Madam, what do you do? I'm a commissioner for human rights. Commissioner for human rights yes. in Nairobi. Yes. In in two weeks, I'm going to be in your nation. I would like to see you in your nation. There is a reason why I'm talking. I'm not seeing you alone. I'm seeing four other people yes. that the Lord wants me to pray for. Yes. But I want to pray for you, madam. Because I don't know if you believe it or not, you have a political destiny. As you are like this, looking at me, you have a political destiny in Kenya. And God, by His Spirit, is going to make this happen. But another thing is, there is also the call of God upon your life. You are a woman that loves God. There is, is starting like an intercessory grace and a prophetic grace. But you will get to a point where among the graces God will give you is the grace to pray for barren women notice this grace God is going to bring this grace upon you God I'm also seeing you build a charity foundation there is going to be a mighty humanitarian foundation that I see you build I'm seeing foodstuff and I'm seeing different things first it will have to do with young girls people who have been abused and so on but I see it not only that I see women too women God is going to increase your influence I lay my hands upon you and I declare by the Spirit, carry this grace. Go to Kenya with it. Go and excel. I command the two lift gates of Nairobi and the entire Kenya to be open for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go with this anointing. Go and prosper. May the Lord multiply your political career. And may the Lord prepare you for the mighty ministerial assignment he has for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. An angel of the Lord is standing here. Someone will shout here under a strong anointing. I just saw that grace. I don't know. First, I think until the shout happens, I know why God, just from here right to the back, there is an anointing. I just saw a, a very mighty manifestation of the power of God here. Now, listen. Whether you know it or not, if there is anything influencing your, your destiny, that is not of the Christ is about to give way right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the count of three, hear me. Whether you are inside, outside, 
or following online I want you to shout that name Jesus with understanding it's not just a chant my Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower not a weak tower the righteous run it to it and they are saved I want to pray for you I know you've shouted in other months but great deliverance great deliverance is about to come your way father I pray that every spirit in this place that does not name the name of the Christ that is sitting on the destinies of men and women manipulating their results I stand and call upon the God of Jeshurun the one that rides upon the wings and I declare let there be deliverance at the count of three shout that name Jesus one two three be free now be free now be free now please bring them out be free now overflow one overflow two overflow three all the extension online I declare be free now from ancestry be free from foundation be free from witchcraft bring them out Paru Salikata Embrekete Barata operations of darkness I'm seeing a womb like the drawing of a woman's womb and I'm seeing it close it doesn't just mean physical barrenness it means a spirit that is closing the door of results many people cannot get results but right now that door is about to open and I stand by the God of heaven by the fire of the Holy Ghost everyone's destiny that has been closed so that it will not find manifestation at the count of three let it be open one two three be open now 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 be open now
placing, listen please. The Lord is placing a very strange grace for finances. Listen to me. Please, I want you to believe it. There is a grace for finances and it's coming on many people. I'm not asking you what you are doing. I'm not asking you what you know. I'm telling you what God is doing. I stand by the God of heaven and I declare, Father, the men and women that must enter into this dimension, as you are showing me at the count of three, may that grace rest upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. A strength grace for abundance. Receive supply from heaven. Let things walk in a way that will surprise you. I command things to walk in a way that will marvel you. mighty God a few minutes we are going to pray for the sick now now please listen I'm only going to do this for this overflow and overflow one that's not to mean I'm neglecting the remaining it's just a revelation that God is giving me there are two angels standing by my left and my right and every time I see this God wants me to move listen hear me except God is not God when I pass any road where you are anything that does not name the name of the Christ and any dimension that is not of God in your life it must give way now I only do this for this and overflow one afterwards we are going to pray for the sick please I want you to just believe I don't know why God does these things but I want you to believe that he is mighty and that he will glorify himself. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, glorify yourself. Change everything that needs to be changed. Many of you will be receiving impartations that will shift you to dimensions. I want you to believe it. I will pray not everywhere, but there are a few people I'm seeing this happen by the Spirit. Hali Shalatos, Pragados, Krekete Barakushla. I shift you in the Spirit. Every limitation that does not name the name of Christ. I'm praying mantles, anointings by the Spirit coming on people right now. Let that presence of God shift you to dimension. In the name of Jesus dimension I'm seeing a chain around here I break that chain now I'm seeing a chain around here let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now break now break now break now chains be broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, God is turning your life around. Where are you coming from? Kaduna State. In the name of Jesus. Break now. In the name of Jesus. Be free now. From everything that is not of God. Be free now. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Something is breaking here. Parush I break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it now by the Spirit of the Living God. I break it now. Mama, I break it now. I break it now.
morning I'm sensing an evil spirit just around here I come against you now I take authority over that influence you must go now go now go now go now go now overflow one lift your voice and pray in the spirit now listen please be your brother's keeper you don't have to touch me please be your brother's keeper so you don't enjoy yourself but as i pass here anything that is not of god is about to give way right now thank you jesus go now let it go now let it go now let it go now all times i come against you now in Release them now, release them now, release them now, release them now. I'm seeing what looks like an altar right here. Release them now in the name of Jesus. Harusa Sikete, be free now, be free now, be free now, be free now. The spirit of delay right here is breaking, breaking over someone's family. Be broken now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be broken now. Be broken now. Beauty and glory to your life. In the name of Jesus. Now watch this. Listen. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. I'm standing here and I'm seeing who is Rebecca. Rebecca. They call you Becky. Rebecca. Just not inside. Here you are. What's your name? Rebecca. Don't worry, it's okay. What's your name? Don't just come out if in the name of Jesus Christ, come. I end oppression now over your life and your family. Oh, you, my dear, your name is Rebecca. Where are you from? You are from are you from Makodi? Benway State. In the name of Jesus. I keep seeing this spirit every time I pray for people. That thing they call Aleku A-L something K-U. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit by the God of heaven. If there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is a victim of that spirit, you are from that region, I stand by the God of heaven. Let it come to an end now. Help them please. Let it come to an end now. In the name of Jesus. Hold on please. Right here. There is a gentle man who will be mightily used by God. I just saw a strong mantle from my head resting on someone. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know where they are. Parus kabadu sheleketa. Let that grace come on you now. Strange mantle, prayer fire, word fire, illumination in the spirit. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. standing here and I'm seeing a family with a yoke of marital delay I'm seeing something that looks like an arrow just coming from heaven right now let deliverance come now let it come now I'm still moving the hand of God is coming on people right now thank you Jesus thank you Jesus please you don't have to touch me in the name of Jesus right here financial stagnation comes to an end an anointing is coming on someone for your family financial stagnation let it be over now my dear be free now out now someone here the power of God is coming on that person be free now free from everything that is not of God New dimension, new dimensions. I'm seeing an anointing here. New dimension. The old story must leave you. That's what God is saying. I'm prophesying to someone here. The old story must leave you. The old is gone so that the new will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where is the woman? Wait, hold on, please. I held someone's hand now. 
holding a photo of a sick patient. Where is he? Come. Who is this? Where is he? He's in China. What's wrong with him? He's depressed now. If I don't pray for him, I'm seeing him inside a coffin. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, let there be deliverance for him now. What's his name? Ibrahim. This is not only something affecting him. This is something that is influencing the entire family. But I stand by the God of heaven and I set you free. In the name of Jesus, be completely free. And I speak to him, Ibrahim, may the power of God touch you and perfect you now and perfect you forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for the sick. My friend, this man looking at me, come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kogi State. What do you do? Are you a man of God? You came here trusting God for fresh fire. Come. You are about to receive it because I'm seeing you from Kogi State. You, where is your church? Look at me, sir. Where You have a church? You are under a church. Hmm. A time will come God will give you your own work. Now God is preparing you. Be faithful. You will go, but now is not the time. You live now, you will suffer for nothing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let sincere people come and push you out of the will of God. But surely a time is coming and you will walk in very strange dimensions of the anointing. Father, I lay my hands upon this man. Let his dealings with the spirit progress in the name of Jesus. Not only an impartation, a dealing that produces real power in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, may that grace rest upon you by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady with green, this lady, you, come. The Lord is about to turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. Two things will happen to you. Number one, I'm seeing restoration. God is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration. Number two, I'm seeing the gift of men. Please do listen to my message. Help them on the gift of men. God is bringing people strangely to lift you. I lay my hands upon you and I pray, may this grace be effectual. Carry that grace right now. And you will start having visions visions god is going to start giving you dreams and he will start giving you visions in the name of jesus this is very strange what i'm seeing except that i saw it i will not say it stop running away from the call you are a man of god's wife now i'm, I'm, I'm saying what does not make sense stop running from the call you are the wife of a man of god a minister of the gospel the Lord will bring performance to his word. This thing I tell you is a strange mystery. The way God works. But in the name of Jesus, I place the word of God upon that prophecy. It's time for you to not fight the will of God. It's time for you to relinquish your own will. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray just one prayer point. The Lord is asking me, immediately we do that, we'll pray for the sick and we'll start submitting our request. Where is that young lady that came out with one mama while I was praying for her? There's a young lady that was wearing glasses. I don't, if, if you are here, you are the one. What do you do? You are going to be very wealthy. Come. Are you a lawyer? Huh? This is your mother? Where are you coming from, madam? Okay, you are the reverse woman. This lady you see is going to be extremely wealthy. Because I'm seeing you a lawyer. And you are going to, you, I don't know what area of law you are going to specialize, but I'm seeing you sitting with so many business people. This is a lot of business people. Signing contracts, helping people to process a lot of things. Millions, huh? That's what? That's where she is right now doing some things abroad she's what well, that's what she's doing right now where she works that's what she's doing now right now where she works because i'm seeing god will just cause them to like her 
it's not every man that is a foolish and a stupid man there are people who are out to genuinely bless yes, and i pray for your daughter and i connect her by the spirit amen in the name of jesus amen. she will find these people amen. and in the name of jesus she will shift her to another dimension amen mama god is saying i should tell you forgive does it make sense to you yes, my husband also he's a lawyer but your husband is a lawyer yes yes what was the issue? Nothing is happening. Don't worry, ma. Do you know why you fell under the anointing? You fell on behalf of all the troubles in your... It wasn't just your personal falling alone. There are times that you fall representing all of these troubles. Because this is not what I'm even saying. God is saying I should tell you to forgive. Forgiveness. Now, it doesn't make sense. And God has not given me an interpretation. But let me tell you this. You see, look up. The average person seated here has been hurt by someone. Whether friends, are we together? Uncles, relatives, people you trusted and they betrayed you. Let me tell you something about unforgiveness. Unforgiveness is a terrible spirit. It's one of the master secrets to delay. Unforgiveness. It will keep you in one place forever. You are there angry and annoyed and most of what you'll be angry about is legitimate however you see forgiveness is a type of giving understand this forgiveness is still the, the giving grace that helps men to forgive the only thing with forgiveness is that you give in advance are we together the highest form of forgiveness is tolerance where you know it will happen again and you build a system around it to not hurt you. We live in a society that is so hot conscious. This one hurt me. This one did this. There are too many things that can create offense. The Bible says in nothing should you be offended. It's a choice. Mama, in the name of Jesus, please don't cry. I don't know what it is and why you are crying. But my dear, comfort your mother after the prayer. Eh? In the name of Jesus, what is before you? is greater than anything that has caused you pain and in the name of jesus forgive in the name of jesus forgive i also pray for someone here do you know there are many couples that have not been able to forgive one another in marriages it can last for 10 years 20 years same room same bed but that bitterness especially for the men we don't know that this might be the secret the bible says for dishonoring your wife the consequence is that your heavens will be closed it's not a lie that's why you see men struggle and struggle and simple things become hard because of the propensity for bitterness make up your mind in this miracle service that you will let go and not only forgive but tolerate I wish I can tell you there are some things your loved ones are doing that they will never do again. But they will do it. Every time a door is about to open here, offense comes. It's a choice. I will not be offended. Are we together? Father, we pray for our daddy in the name of Jesus. The kind of miracle that God will do in the life of this man. Let it be so powerful that everybody around will know that this is the doing of the Lord. I decree it and I establish it. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a gentleman here. We are going to pray goodness. You see how time just runs. There is a gentleman here. You are a member of Mountain of Fire. Where are you? Mountain of Fire. You are a serious brother. Mountain of Fire. Now please. I'm, I'm not just saying you attend. Don't listen to instructions please. Right? MFM. My friend, you are serious. You come from where? MFM Kano. MFM Kano. How about yes, you? Calabar. MFM Calabar. Yes, How about you? Lagos. Lagos. I want to pray. I'm not saying if you are from MFM, just come out like that. There are particular people. It doesn't matter what denomination you are from. Once you are here, huh? this is a universal, this is a master key. It will complement on what every grace and every man and woman of God is doing. But I want to pray for you. My friend, I, I'm, going, I'm first going to pray for you. Where are you from? I'm from Akwai Bomb State. There is serious witchcraft sitting on your destiny. Yes, I hope sir. you are not embarrassed. Yes, sir. Yes, huh? sir. 
you need help you have prayed stand up please you are a prayer warrior you can pray you can do fasting huh? sometimes you just need a grace to help you you hear what I tell you I'm going to pray for you if I don't pray for you I'm seeing the spirit of death start sweeping people in your family like that like play like play until he starts killing people but let me tell you don't despise yourself you need a lot of mentorship but you are going to be a mighty vessel in the hand of God this brother you see is very serious with God huh? very serious with God you just need the right support impartations and a mentorship system that makes for balance in your life hold my hand father what's your name huh? Anthony Tony in the name of Jesus everything that represents witchcraft I join my faith with that of your father and your leader Dr. Daniel Odikoya and I decree in the name of Jesus be free now I decree by the power of the Holy Spirit the spirit of death far from your dwelling in the name of Jesus Christ I want to pray for you who is looking for a job uh -uh. I'm not saying I'm not on employment. I'm talking to these guys. That I, of course, I know that people are trusting God for jobs. Where did you apply? Huh? Kaduna State Civil Service. The Lord says I should pray for you that they will give you. Do I know you applied for a job? Stand up. I, prophecy is powerful. In a moment, God can just change things like that. My dear, let me tell you this. It's not even the issue of Kaduna State Civil Service alone. Huh? God is going to give you unusual influence. It will marvel you. Amen. Are we together now? Hold my hands. You believe what I'm telling you? Yes. Father, confirm your word in a way that will surprise this lady. Let that rejected stone... In the name of Jesus, become the chief cornerstone. Receive of that grace. In the name of Jesus, I speak it so. I make it so. I establish it by the power of prophecy. Let me pray for you. Gentlemen, I don't know if it's you or someone related to you, but there's someone God is giving a job. Someone looking for a job. But I want to pray for you. Father, you called out the gentlemen from MFM Kano and the remaining places I decree and declare by the God of heaven that everything that represents witchcraft in your life let it give way now in the name of Jesus let it give way now even by the power of the Holy Spirit the Lord is showing me a lady I'm not going to ask you to come God bless you but I'm lifting up my hand I'm seeing you know how you cover a bride when you are about to marry before the remove that thing from her face this is what i'm seeing but that one is not pride of wedding this is evil covering your entire a human being with almost no head huh? and the lord is saying i should pray that that veil be torn i don't know who that person is but right now the power of god is going there there, there are many of you i perceive in the name of jesus that veil that has covered you so that no good thing finds you by the god of heaven and in the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, I declare that fail torn into pieces now. Torn into pieces now. Inside, outside, online. Torn into pieces now. The last case I attend to and then we'll begin to pray for the sick. Nothing ever lasts in your hand. This is the problem you are trusting God for. In fact, it's one of your requests. Nothing, many good things continue to happen, but they never last. If a, if a season of open door comes, three, four months, sometimes men can come into your life or women can come into your life and after two, three months, for reasons you cannot explain, you have never sustained any blessing for up to two years. As it comes, you will see it. Sometimes you will go to bed in the night and you will have a dream. You may see someone come maybe to molest you or to attempt to have an affair with you. This is what I'm seeing. The moment that thing happens, it will not be up to one month and every good thing goes down. But I'm praying right now. 
in the name of Jesus whoever belongs to this category every attachment you have with spirits that are not of the Christ that warrant visitations in the night to molest and oppress you and spy into your liberty I declare by the Spirit of God be free now be free now help them please be free now be free now my dear come you come hold my hands it's your it's a new season for you by the anointing of the holy ghost step into a new season i've touched you i saw you climbing a ladder in the spirit i release you into that dimension in the name of jesus christ we have to hurry up and pray for the sick now now please watch this this lady jumping shame and reproach i call it by his name and i command it to leave you now shame and reproach to leave you and let you go in the name of jesus someone will run by the anointing to me don't stop the person just hold the person this is what i'm seeing by the spirit this is a ministry of signs and wonders why these things i'm not saying to run consciously i'll send you back this is by the anointing please there is order in the house of god order in the church are we together the, the hand of God now as I speak is coming upon you. My soul longs and even thirsts for you. My heart and my flesh cries out for the living God. For the living God. Incline your ears with trembling and tears of yearning to the throne of grace to seek your face and burning longing for you I need you I need you I need you I need you, I need Help me. you. nothing no place no one else will do I need you I declare to all of you that came out by the spirit I shift you go forward now go forward now the power that holds you down I take authority over it in the name of Jesus go forward now I release your families to go forward now in the name of Jesus now please hear me our time is gone we have to be fast now listen for those who will be laying hands on you don't think that because it is not joshua selman laying hands on you remember i told you that there is a grace that everyone who is called to serve in this ministry and designated and mandated carries that grace we're about to pray for the sick now now listen please there are three conditions that i will want to minister lay hands on the people myself remember don't tell lies you cannot come to the truth lying are we together don't insist that i just want joshua selman to touch that's not the idea aside from those who are in the main auditorium that i would request to come out if you're trusting god for a miracle if you are here and you are suffering from cancer number one number two you are suffering from hiv number three you are suffering from barrenness it doesn't matter what overflow you are in if you have any of these three cases please with those who are in the main auditorium i want you to join them and come otherwise please all the overflows move to your projector screen and stand there all as directed by the ushers or protocol anyone trusting god for to be prayed for for healing right now i want you to make your way to the front quickly and then in addition to that the three cases i've mentioned 
you come into the main auditorium and join please quickly we have to hurry up overflow one please walk to your projector stand overflow two i don't know from where now as directed walk to your projector stand overflow three walk to your projector stand um my god i don't know if there's overflow two b then just walk as you are directed somebody should stand in front of them and direct them appropriately please overflow four um also just move to your projector stand or as directed those online following from whatever nation of the world just connect by faith as we pray hallelujah now please watch this our time is gone and we're going to be doing this very fast listen please if you are here and you're yet to write your prayer request per adventure you are coming for the first time and you need an opportunity to write your prayer request please someone help them with a piece of paper or whatever it is that you will need everyone you can pen down your prayer request now when you're done please lift it and there will be ushers PR help them protocol help them whoever needs to help them let's make it very fast overflow one two three those online I believe that theirs has also been collated we're going to have everything now so that as soon as we are done we'll pray for the request the moment you are done please wave it or pass it to the person um, at the aisle where it can be picked give them room to write if you need a piece of paper you can help your friend or wave your hand and righteousness Lord you reign King of lands You are the ancient of days Lord you reign Help me We cry hallelujah praise the lord thank god we have some hands tonight um pastor jakes and Ejimi will do overflow three since there will be several people there overflow three they'll be ministering to overflow three benga will go to overflow one promise overflow one two um kenny overflow two two a now uh, two a or two b praise the lord isaac overflow to be praise the lord ima overflow overflow what now what is left huh overflow the last overflow where the overflow for okay no overflow to be go to overflow four praise the lord it'll have to be a very quick walk because there are several people I'll minister to the people here praise the Lord now please listen please except they want to talk to you prophetically don't worry listen just a touch is all that you need and I want you to believe by faith as soon as they touch you do what you couldn't do head back to your seat unfortunately because of the limited time we may not have time to take testimonies as you would have seen in many of my external ministrations for two reasons one this is a miracle service dedicated to ministering to people if we we'll pray and say be, if you are healed come out it will take a lot of time we don't have that luxury of time praise the Lord so we are doing three things at the same time one we are praying for the sick as, prom as promised 
Okay. Pastor Alpha, oh. Uh, who is in overflow? One. Only you. Two of you. Okay, Pastor Alpha, join them in overflow. Three. Pastor Femi. Uh huh. He, Pastor Femi should go to. Did I give you a place? Pastor Femi, join um, overflow two. Two B. Okay, with with Ima now. Two B or four. You are in two. Only you. Okay, so um, Femi, please join him in overflow four. Overflow four. Praise the Lord. Just direct them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace. And we declare, let there be miracles right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please write your request, believing the worship team will lead us through a time of worship while we are doing this. It will be very fast. Afterwards, I will just pray and prophesy to everyone. And then we'll try to tie it up tonight. But whilst you are sitting, make sure you connect by faith. You can involve your loved ones. Let them know that God is moving right now. He's blessing people. Lord, we give you all the praise. Let there be great miracles by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise up on your feet. If they are still praying for you, where, wherever, whatever, overflow, don't worry. Just, just hang on there. Please stretch your hands to this request as we pray. I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to declare by the Spirit. Unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Please lift your voice, everyone. Let's have all the requests here, please. If there are people who are yet to submit. I'd like you to stretch your hands to these requests as you declare that these Egyptians that I see today, I see no more forever. Shabratos kaparuze degete, rakata baranda skete balakoto shiata, embratos keparu shalakatos, rekete paruda shiata. Lord, turn impossible situations around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, release miracles, release solutions, break yokes, oh God. Turn around family situations for your name's sake. Reveal callings. Reveal destinies. Let your people find purpose. Let your people find direction. Make sure you are praying. Lord, stay the power of darkness over the requests of your people. Shabarato Sedepa Entele Koto Shabra Shibra Katosh Kapredis Shabaruta Sedekata Balash in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please agree with me in the name of Jesus. Louder Amen in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight we come to you. The God that can answer prayers. And Lord, I decree, standing in the presence of your people, thousands of people have submitted their requests, a representation of their expectations, their pain, their disappointments, their anticipations. Lord, I decree and declare that every spirit that is back of these problems we declare lose your grip now lose your grip now number two i declare that every grace that needs to be released towards you for this request to be granted by the mercies of the god of heaven we decree and declare by faith we channel these graces to you every human agent whose mind needs to be touched by God to allow this request to be answered in the name of Jesus we call on the father of spirits to touch them on that wise and every request that remains 
because of the hardness of the hearts of men we break that hardness now father answer speedily lord answer speedily turn situations around every death sentence represented in this request we declare that death sentence is cancelled in the name of jesus and so father we give you praise because we declare by faith the very faith of the son of god that these requests are met in jesus name as i stand upon these requests i declare by the spirit of faith that in the mighty name of jesus that which god has done now remains permanent in jesus name and i prophesy over you by the god of heaven the egyptians that you see today that pursued you from egypt to the red sea and beyond i declare by the spirit you will see them no more forever no matter how long you have been in egypt if you go out of egypt no going back in the name of jesus between now and the next three weeks may the god of heaven in the name of jesus 21 days was the maximum time of contention in the realm of the spirit i decree and declare it will not exceed three weeks and every request that has been released already but has been hijacked by men and systems i mount pressure on those men and systems to allow this request manifest i mount pressure on those systems allow this request manifest let it be so in the name of jesus and i am desperate for you if you don't believe it, don't sing it. And I, and I, and I, I'm lost without you. Yeah. And I, yeah. of the spirit in this place how that you are guiding us through spiritual paths that will bring us to the realm of grace the realm of power 
the realm of exploits in the spirit that will be men of strength and power and structure Lord I pray that you put like never before a hunger for spiritual things that we will covet the reality of the realm of the spirit above and beyond anything that is in this realm. Just soak in the glory one minute. Let the instruments just play. Just let his presence rest upon you. Teaching you the art of worship. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. And Moses said, Do not let us depart from here. He said, for how shall the people know we are separate except your presence go with us? He said, Lord, do not let us depart from here. There is a mystery of his majestic presence. When the presence of the Lord comes upon a man, you become a living wonder. It's an aura of his presence. It's an atmosphere of his glory that words cannot articulate. Every time I pray, I pray that God will bring as many people into that realm where you will love his presence. For I have found out that the presence of God is all you need. Men chase after vain things. But when you have his presence, you have all of it. When you have his presence, the Bible says, and the Lord walking with them. And their words were confirmed with signs following. And the Lord walking with them. This is not about grammar. This is not about stories. The Bible says, and when three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fire, a presence came with them. Let your presence. So we bow as we enter the throne room and we cast ourselves down at your feet, Lord, for you are holy. Thou art holy, there is none like you, for in your presence that is where I must be. Lord, I bow as I enter the throne room. Lord, I can't myself down at your feet Lord for you are holy you are holy there is none like you for in your presence that is where we must be in your presence that is where I must be. It's in your presence. That is where. It's in your glory. That is where. It's in your shakina. That is where. That is where. In your presence, there is where 
It's in your glory that is where in your presence that is where I must be. Now arise, oh Lord, and come to your resting place, you and the ark of your mind and then we will rejoice as we're clothed in your righteousness we celebrate your life blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Blessed is he who comes. Oh, his mighty presence is in this place. Blessed are you, for you come in the name of our God. Blessed is he, blessed is he, blessed is he, blessed is he. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. I hail you, most high. I truly hail you, most high. Hello, Eve, Madonna. Elohim Madonna, Elohim Madonna, Elohim Madonna, Elohim Madonna, Elohim Madonna. It's his majestic presence when that presence mantles you it makes you a sign and a wonder for there is a fire that comes from his presence no demon can stand that fire no devil can stand that fire infirmity cannot stand it that's the place where true faith is incubated Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your presence. If the Lord had not been on my side, now may Israel sing. Go ahead and sing in the spirit. Find melodies of the spirit. You're becoming mighty men and women of the spirit. Be your blessing and glory and honor and power forever. Be your blessing and honor, glory and power forever. 
how hardened your heart is cannot stand this majestic presence of God no matter how much of a stony heart you have when his true presence shows up smashes that stony heart the Bible says the mountains keep like lambs before him who is this God whose glorious and majestic presence can break the rocks into pieces Lord, let every stony heart become a heart of flesh. Hallelujah. Many of you may not realize why we take our time to press into his presence. There is a mystery of God's presence that the body of Christ has forgotten. This is not just about prayer. This is about understanding how to step into his presence. The presence of the Lord comes upon you. For you are glorious. And worthy to be praised, you are the Lamb of the Lord. And unto you I lift my hands in praise, you are the Lamb of God. This is not a special number. You are glory. Listen to what you are saying. And you are worthy to be praised. You're the Lamb upon the throne. And on to you, I lift my hands in praise. You are the Lamb. Listen, if you do not love God and have a passion for him beyond your needs, beyond your life, beyond your ambition, beyond your schooling, let me tell you something. You will never taste of the blessings and the glory of God. For he will screen your heart until he becomes king of kings and lord of lords. Whatever else you put there, he said, lovest thou me more than this. I know you love me, but why have other things taken my place? Lovest thou me. When they saw the miracles and the manifestations and the mighty things that Jesus did, they came and they wanted to make him king. Ask them, he said, lovest thou me? We have seen the miracles and the wonderful things God is doing in this place. But tonight, can you lay aside for a minute your hunger for healing or for a miracle in your life or for a breakthrough and just say, Lord, I worship you for who you are. 
just for who you are. I know that I desire a miracle, but tonight I'm not tying my worship to anything. I'm just looking for ways to express that you are good. I'm looking for ways to express that you are good. Can you bless him? Because he has been faithful. Bless him. Make sure you are blessing him in one minute. This is what we are here for. Please bless him. Bless him in one minute. I know why I'm asking you to do these things. We are responding according to the things that are happening in the spirit. chapter 2 tonight we are to break into something in the spirit you may not understand why we are worshipping for thus saith the Lord of hosts yet once it is a while and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land and I will shake the nations and the desire of nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory saith the lord of hosts the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the lord of hosts and the glory of this latter house shall be greater than that of the former saith the lord and in this place i will give peace saith the lord hallelujah i was praying for tonight's meeting and the hand of the lord came upon me and in the spirit i saw a writing the season of reward and I just kept quiet and I was watching and the Lord told me he said announce to my people that they are stepping into prophetic seasons of harvest consolation and a reward a reward for labor in the spirit a reward for traveling defying yourself with the things you should chase after and I saw seasons of reward. And the Lord gave me this scripture. He says, I will fill this house 
with my glory and the glory of the latter house shall far exceed far exceed let me tell you something in this season we are entering God is about to use your life and prove to men that it's not a waste to pursue God that's why when I came up I told you everything that is not of God is a waste are you listening to me that's why you see me singing songs of thanks I know the things that the Lord has shown me and my job tonight is to direct us in the spirit into this blessing this is not something that one or two people will just stand and testify on behalf of the house that everyone will have a personal testimony oftentimes when you begin to walk with the lord after you travel and show him that you love him more than the things people are looking for he tells you to stand still and he brings the other things that men chase after and say i give you as a reward as a symbol of your staying in my presence this is why I began to talk about God's presence. Haribiti, Arabata, Hail at all be Jew. Haribiti, Arabata, Hail at all be Jew. Holy one. How many of you believe what I'm saying? Because when people hear words like this, it falls on different kinds of soils. And the Bible says that the prophet said, by this time tomorrow, and someone dared to meander and come out and say, even if the windows of heaven were open, and he said, you will see it, so that you can confirm that God does not lie, but you will not eat of it. The Bible says they had the word just like we did. But the word did not profit them, not be mixed with faith. Let me tell you something. That the word of God is declared does not mean it will happen automatically in your heart. When it comes upon your heart and you take it and believe it as the word from God. It says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. But he said, believe in his prophets. The oracles that he uses to declare his counsel unto the people. And he said, therein you shall prosper. I bring you the word of the Lord tonight, Koinonia. We are entering a prophetic season of anointing for the house it has started. There is a new season of glory. It's, it's an opening. And it took him from the east side, the Bible says, that the river began to flow. And he measured a thousand cubits. These are realms and dimensions of operations in the spirit. When God measures for you a thousand cubits, and you walk in that level of the anointing, and you are faithful, and you are diligent, then another thousand cubits is measured. And he said the river rose down to my waist and he measured another thousand cubits and it was to my chest and then it became a river Kapota Shalakata. it became a river and the bible says wherever that water went the fish that was dead came alive listen there are some things that are not possible at certain realms of anointings when you prove faithful to god what happens is a thousand cubits the measurement of the works of men how meticulous have you followed the plan to pattern the bible says he measured a thousand cubits and he told me now you can go deeper let me tell you glory has been opened over this house and God is bringing us as a house and as a family of faith into a new dimension of power and of the miraculous he said this is a season of supernatural exploits and many of you are yet to see that dimension in its fullness but I tell you the spirit of God is beginning some prophetic works you will see the miraculous the manifestation of God's grace you will see the manifestation of prosperity and the wealth and the blessings and the favor and the increase of God is already happening it will happen by the hand of God that's why I told you forget about the junks that people say Jacob have I loved Esau have I hated let me tell you something it's not about gymnastics when you stay with God and stay on course the Bible says the people began to move but Jesus retreated they were six hours ahead at the end of it he got up and started walking on the water there will be an acceleration of the spirit many of you will see acceleration because you left some things behind to pursue God he said forget about them you will find them in your future God is in this season about to take sacrifices things you would have done if you were not pursuing God some of you would have been in relationships if not because of your pursuit for God certain financial realms 
but in this prophetic season God is taking the things that are behind you because you have set your face like a flint he's taking the things that are behind and bringing it before you the Bible says I will do a walk in your days that even if it were told you you would not believe this is the season we are stepping into he said I will do a walk a walk that will cause your ears to tingle blessings that will come into your life that will make you cry for days you will leave the blessing alone and be crying and be saying what minutes this thing so long and the lord will tell you this is what i mean when i say seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and all other things influence power let me tell you something you will see influence in this house and in the lives of individuals you know why the bible says if i be lifted up not a man of god not a doctrine not a sect and i tell you that we have lifted christ in this place as a result he said i will draw all men to myself if i be lifted up i will draw all men unto myself this is what the lord is doing in our lives hallelujah this is why many of you do not understand why there has been a season of rapid deliverances because of the strongholds and the works of darkness that are standing to contend against the breakthroughs of people. But tonight we are going to pray and we will stand in partnership with what the Spirit is doing. The Bible says when you pray, say, let it be done in the earth as we have seen happen in the heavens. And so God reveals to us by prophecy the things that are resident in the realm of the Spirit. And in the place of prayer, we agree with heaven and say, Amen. For it is the Spirit in partnership with the bride that tells the world to come. And when the word comes, it becomes flesh. And it is made manifest in the midst of people. We call Koinonia a place of partnership and intimacy. I tell you rejoice. Because you are, God is about to use your life to prove men that have mocked your God. In your family, in your life, you will see acceleration. Believe the word of the Lord. Believe the word of the Lord. This is what God is doing in this season. You will see men walk in levels of glory. Men like God. And they looked at them and said, The gods have come unto us. Hallelujah. I bring you a word of the Lord. He said, Fear not, I have redeemed you. Isaiah 43. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the fire, I will be with you. When you walk through the water. For many of you, you are about to enter seasons of grace and glory. Aha. Uh -huh. He said, and after two days, he will revive us. And on the third day, he will restore us. This is what is happening. And many come, where is their God? Upon Mount Zion, let me tell you what has been happening. The Bible says when that season comes in Mount Zion, the first thing that will happen is that there will be deliverance and holiness. And that's what has been happening to us in the last weeks. Immediately after that, the children of Jacob will begin to possess their body. Written in the word. It's a pattern in the spirit that every time God wants to bring people into their prophetic destiny and into their inheritance in light, there will be deliverance and holiness. And after which the sons of Jacob why the sons of Jacob? Because Jacob was a man of his presence. He said, I will not let you go. And he wrestled with that man in the night. So tonight I bring you a word. We are entering seasons of reward. I believe it with all my heart. Many of you have not seen a man who looks like a portrait of the blessings of the Lord. You have seen people who God blessed from jobs. You have seen people who God blessed from crooks and pranks. And all of this but wait and see God will use you and show you you will be a portrait of a man that the Lord has blessed Isaiah 51 it says God called Abraham let's turn there Shabakala Marata Subregedi Balana Basta Randrogo Subregedi Laka Subregedi Balana Basta believe in what God is doing tonight is a prophetic meeting Hallelujah 
God is opening doors, opening portals, opening things in the spirit. Are you there? Verse 2. Isaiah 51 verse 2. Look unto Abraham. What happened to him? Thy father and to Sarah who bore thee. He said, I called him alone and I blessed him. Who blessed him? He said, I called him. I called him alone. Not as a crowd. Tonight God is calling men alone. This is not the issue of me and my roommate. Your personal faithfulness over the things of God. The Bible says, and one day the book of remembrance was opened over Mordecai. And the king could not sleep. He said, bring me the chronicles. And when it was opened, he said, this man has been faithful in this kingdom. This was an adumbration of how seasons of remembrance happens in the spirit. It doesn't happen every day the way men of God teach is a lie. But there is a time, a kairos moment. For the Bible says, if the cloud be full of rain, your daily obedience. That's why the Bible says, walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise. You will see a man who has been locked up and John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing. Can I tell you something? When the light of God comes upon your life, even you will be afraid of yourself. I know what it means for God to pick a man who is nothing. And when he has your heart, he said, My son, give me your heart. Except the Lord builds a house. He said he built it in vain. He didn't say the house will not be built. But it's in vain. And except the Lord watches over the city. He said it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep in the night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow but he gives his beloved sleep. Can I tell you something brothers and sisters? God is bringing us into a level and a measure of rest. As a ministry and as individuals. When the Lord showed me this I was excited. I was singing. I was dancing. I was praying because every time shows you a thing in the spirit. The way you respond is by praise and thanksgiving. Are you listening to me? Judges, quickly. Judges 1. Let me show you something there. Praise is the recipient of spiritual things. Every time God promises you something, every time God tells you you are stepping into a season of blessing, that's the time to engage prophetic praise. Judges 1. Who is there? Judges 1. Read verse 1 to 3. Anybody? Someone read with the mic, please. Alright, let's just read here. Now, after the death of Joshua, it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Lord, saying, Who shall be the first to go for us against the Canaanites? They were entering Canaan. They had seen it. Hallelujah. But who is going to lead the way? For them to enter into this prophetic destiny. And they asked the Lord. They said, Lord, how shall we receive this prophecy you have given us? And he told them, he said, Judah shall go up. Judah means praise. In other words, it is with your praise. Let praise lead the way. As you step into that prophetic time. He said, for indeed I have delivered the land into his hand. Not into the hands of the Israelites. Into the hands of Judah. Are you listening to me? So every time you are entering a prophetic season, that's the time to praise him. This is why we are praising him. Many of you do not know what we are doing. Rejoicing and saying, Lord, we count you faithful. It says, Judah shall go up. For indeed, I have delivered the land into his hands. I have delivered the land into his hands. And Judah means praise. Hallelujah. Praise is not just about singing and dancing. It's about acknowledging the power, the superiority, the grace of God. That God is able. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 verse 6, it says, For without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh unto him must believe. Are you persuaded that God is able? For I have read in my Bible how that a whole land was dying of famine. 
And in 24 hours, Katokabaya, and God used weak men, lepers that say, Why we sit we here and perish? The Bible says, When they were moving, God accelerated their effort so that they had the sound of chariots. And when it was time, the Bible says in the book of Chronicles that the prophet said, Believe in the Lord. And you shall be established believing his prophets and you shall prosper and the bible says how that the worshipers were put in front and when they began to sing there was confusion in the camp of the enemy they began to kill themselves i believe in what god is doing please do not be part of those who will see and not step in i declare this word because i want all of us to believe it and know that there is a consolation. The kingdom of God works in a reward system. If God does not reward men, he's a wicked God. Every king in ancient times had times when he would step out and show his benevolence to the citizens. And every time you praise a king, you compel him to repeat what he did that made you praise him. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? I bring you the word of the Lord Koinonia. We are stepping into a fearful season. You will see the power of the Holy Ghost. God will orchestrate events. When God wants to destroy your life, he will send a man. I mean, when Satan wants to destroy your life, he will send a man. When God wants to, destroy, to bless you, he will also send a man. If you will hear my voice tonight, and believe that I'm bringing you the counsel of the Lord, you will be surprised. The Bible says, when again the Lord turned again our captivity, we were like them that dream. And so our mouths were filled with laughter. And the hiddens testified. They said, the Lord has done great things for them. He said, turn aside our captivities as the streams in the Negev. It's a season where we are stepping into prophetic blessings. So men will see that there is a system in God. God does not want to call you and just make you a broke failure. He doesn't just want to call you into ministry and keep you frustrated. But he says, son, what I want is to first have your heart. There is a Chinese tree. That is popularly said when you plant it for about three years, it will just be digging down and it won't grow. But within six months in the third or fourth year, it will suddenly grow. And become so tall this is what is going to happen to many people because the bible says the remnant of the house of jacob shall bear root downwards this is what we have been doing laboring in the spirit many of you have been given god has given you dangerous instructions empty your account you have done it and you are suffering you thought the miracle will come immediately it didn't come yet you said god you are faithful god said you are doing this to me you are showing me that you can do this Many of you, some of you who are students, God's scholarship, you carried everything and gave. And God said, you are doing this to me? You can't outgive me. If you outgive God, he stops being God. So every time you give to God, you provoke a dimension. And God said, I will set a new standard and let you know that I am God. We have many workers in this ministry that work tirelessly day and night. The worship team, the ushers, the protocol in the rain. I bring you a prophetic word. Koinonia, you are entering a season of reward. The chronicles is open over us tonight. And God is going to begin to reward men. You will see fearful testimonies here. Men will come what others have been chasing for for years. Somebody will just come and give it to you. The Bible says Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of your rising he said your gates shall continually be open to receive the forces of the gentiles i receive this word i know that is the word from the lord it will change people we are stepping into a level of anointing you will see things happen at the frequency of grace that will make you afraid inexplainable but undeniable inexplainable but undeniable this is what happens when the grace of god comes upon a man you cannot explain what is the mathematics behind this success there is a hand and the lord walking with them and the lord walking with them i announce to you it's a season of exploits this is the word from god Believe it in your job. 
Believe it in your life. Ideas will come by the spirit. You are not fasting. You are not praying. It just comes. God brings it to you. Hallelujah. It shall come to pass that the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted. And all the nations will flow through it. Sometimes when I look at some people who come for koinonia, I know that if they were given an invitation card, no invitation card can bring this kind of people. You see them come and you know something brought them. The power and the grace of God. Hallelujah. Now is the time to forget about what who is saying about you or what your neighbor is saying this. Your roommates are saying you are always praying. You are, hold on. The day God blesses you, they will ask you that they want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. There are many ways God publicizes himself. One of it is that God blesses you in such a way that will make your enemies angry. God has a system package that he does that. When he blesses you, you say, Lord, to you be all the glory. And you will see how attractive your Christianity is. We're going to rise up and pray. This is the word I brought for you tonight. The word of the Lord to the house of God. I bring you a word. We are step. This thing I'm talking about will start days from now. I'm not talking about months and weeks. See, the Bible says, Amos 3 verse 9. He said, the Lord will not do anything but reveal his counsel to his servants, the prophets. Days from now, you will see all inspiring, fearful dimensions of the anointing. Fearful dimensions of grace. I saw great criticism coming from people who are saying, how is this thing happening? But this is not new. This is why he prepares you before the blessing. Because it takes stamina to sustain the blessing. Hallelujah. You will see men step into levels of grace. Miracles and healings that you cannot explain. Even you will not be able to account for it. The power and the hand of God. Favor coming. Solomon was not asking. The queen of Sheba just got up. Packaged herself, packaged all the gifts, traveled all the journey and came to meet a man to bless him. When the hand of God is upon you, you become a sign and a wonder. How many of you are ready to pray tonight? I believe this. If you are doubting tonight, I'd like you to throw away that doubt. God is bigger than you. I believe in the word of the Lord manifestations of grace you will see products of God's grace that will make people afraid believe me when I say this there have been times in my life when I've made audacious statements like this and then when the blessing comes you will see for the Bible says that which I tell you in the secret place declare thou on the mountain top it will happen by the power of the Holy Spirit there are angels already released to this effect and I truly believe with all my heart that this is a personal affair the Bible says I call Abraham alone and bless him many of you will hear testimonies from your parents your father is not supposed to reach certain levels they just call him and the people who ask they say what is your business hallelujah before we pray one parable that Jesus gave I've shared it again and again in this place the Bible talks about a husband man who woke up in the morning and he met certain people and he told them he said come and dress my vine and they said we'll do it only if we have an agreement with you are you listening to me I said something some years ago and I received some dangerous criticisms from it dangerous criticism I said it that the concept of what we call in the body of Christ covenant is wrong. A man can really not enter a covenant with God. Let me tell you the truth. Because one minute later you have broken your own part. And in a covenant there is no mercy. Go and ask the traditional rulers in your village. A, a, a covenant is put to be able to commit the highest integrity of those who are at work. But man in his nature is flawed. The best of man's righteousness is flawed. So God comes in the morning and meets those people. They say, Lord, we are going to work for you only if we have an agreement. 
God said, you are not coming because you love me. He said, fine, go to the farm. Later in the afternoon, he met certain people again. And he said, come. There was no agreement. They came because they loved him to the 11th hour. 11 hours. Some other people had been working for 11 hours. And someone just comes at the 11th hour. And he said, why are you sitting here? He said, no man will bring us into the vineyard. He said, come. And the Bible says, when he started paying them, those who made agreement, he went to them. He said, we agreed for a denary. Take. Those who did not agree, he said, now, since you entered the farm, not taking your life, I would have told you thank you and you would have still be grateful. Now, let me pay you by my own standard. And the Bible says he paid them the same denary and he made them angry. Your blessing is going to annoy some people because they will not understand. They are saying, come on, God, this is not fair. I got first class. I got this and that. My father is this. God says, Jacob, have I loved? Esau, have I hated? If you are angry, ask God what is happening in this season huh. for I have seen a mystery and this is what I announced it by the spirit that this is what will happen those who call themselves princes are going to be walking suddenly we who are servants God will carry us and put us on horses the Bible says I see a mystery it's a mystery because it shouldn't be so Princes should be the ones walking on horses and servants pushing them. But he said in the realm of the spirit, I will reverse it. All those who think they are the gods of themselves, they will walk while some servants will ride on horses. I believe the word of the Lord and I bring you the word of the Lord. We are going to pray. You are going to release this word by faith. The Bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written. I believe and so I speak. We also believe and therefore we speak. Listen, you're going to apply this in any every area of your life. And cry like a priest. And say, Lord, every part of my life will experience this prophetic word. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you the truth, brothers and sisters. When a woman is pregnant, look at me. Because of that pregnancy, I wanted to hold a man. You're a man, Mr. Man. Forget about the madness that happens in America. When a woman is pregnant, temporarily it will, it will, it will spoil her posture, correct? She may be spitting here and there. But forget about it. She's still waiting. Other women will look at her and say, ah, and this lady used to be fine. Oh, what is this? See how her face is. It's none of your business. She's carrying something. The day she gives birth, even her enemies will visit her with, with food. But the Bible says, as soon as Zion travails, this is what you have been doing. There has been a traveling in the place of prayer, in the place of discipline. The unbelieving guy came. He said, just say yes to me. Let me change your story. He said, carry your story and go away. I don't want it. There is a story that comes from God. God said, you did this to me? Okay, hold on. I'm about to bring somebody. You prayed and said, oh Lord, whether the guy is blessed or not, let him just be godly. God said, I will give you double, double. You know that song they sing, double, double. God said, what is wrong with finding somebody that is anointed and blessed? Come on, brothers. You are not praying in tongues for nothing. The Bible says a time will come. This proverb will no longer be said in Israel. I prophesy to the brothers some proverbs over your life that Kai, this brother is so broke. It's just like he loves God. Some proverbs will be extinct forever. You have been coming with your one sandal. You say, Lord, I will polish it and pray in tongues. Your prayer has torn your shirt. You sold it again. He tore it, you sold it again. You hold on and see. God will stop someone from sleeping in the night. Who say, my son is in need of something. He said, Gentiles shall come. See, I'm not motivating you tonight. I don't do that. I'm bringing you the counsel of the Lord. Hallelujah. And ladies, let me tell you something. You should pray like never before. You know why? Because in the realm of the spirit, a woman is the only gate through which another life comes into this realm. Are you listening to me? Women are gates in the realm of the spirit. You go to a ministry, you don't find women there, run away. There's big trouble. Because every time God is about to birth something in a season, you will see a multiplication of women. When Jesus died, all the men ran away. It was the women that summoned courage. They were gates in the spirit. The Bible calls them the wailing women. 
you go and look outside and see the number of ladies that had been coming no invitation you were moving alone god just brought you it's not because you just came you are aligning yourself with prophecy i bring you a prophetic word koinonia do you not read the handwritings on the wall there is a season we're entering God is connecting you with those who need your gifts. God bless you. Remember our teaching on destiny helpers. Many of you are at the level you are now. All you need is somebody who needs your gift. I tell you the truth. The wine presser had access to the king but did not have the ability to interpret dreams. Joseph had potential but no access to the king. But when Joseph and the wine presser met, the Bible says the king sent for Joseph. They shaved him and he came out of his dungeon. I prophesy to you that in this season, God is bringing someone. God will announce your gift. God will take you to a place that only your gift will be needed. I prophesy to you by the unction of the Lord. Listen. It is only the process of God's dealings that take time. The coming of the blessing does not take time. It is the dealing. It will happen in one day. It will happen in one day. Joseph sleeps as a prisoner. Wakes up the next day. The guy shaving him did not know he was shaving the prime minister. He would have said, as I'm shaving you, remember me. Some of you are seeing the person by your side. You are seeing him shouting. Saliva is pouring from his mouth as he's praying. Forget the saliva. Sorry if he's pours on you. But let me tell you, when God begins to bless men and women in this house, mark my word, it will make you afraid. There are some of you here, you left certain lifestyles because you wanted to come to God. And that your allegiance to God has been punishing you because you have to align to some things. I bring you a word from the Lord. Though weeping and just for a night, my Bible tells me that joy comes with the morning. How many of you have been tired of waking up one night? You just don't want to stay. You are praying that morning should come. And then suddenly you will sleep and wake up and see it's 8 o'clock. The morning had come long. Your morning will come in a glorious and glamorous way. That God will prove it. And I believe that God is visiting families in a dramatic way. Go and send text messages to your loved ones and tell them this is the prophetic word. We are connecting you. This is not just healing of HIV and this. Thank God for those things. But let me tell you, an angel is measuring a thousand cubits over Koinonia. He's saying you have been faithful in this. Move deeper. And we will bring strangers. The Bible says strangers shall feed your flock. Where you will see somebody will come and say you don't know me you don't need to know me i'm sponsoring transporting people for the whole of this year don't announce it things will happen that will amaze you make sure you are lying in the flow are you ready to pray pair yourselves into two quickly please rise up instrumentalists help me pair yourselves into two because we are going to pray Please, if you are holding a, a lazy person and is not praying, leave him alone. Leave him and hold somebody that will help you get to where your destiny is. Lift your voice like a saint and begin to pray. Hold the person's hands. Lord, we take your word. We take your word. It's a season of reward for the house of Koinonia. We believe your word. You are not a man that you should lie. Days from now. Days from now. Days from now. The cloud is full of rain. The cloud is full of rain. And there will be a heavy downpour upon sons and daughters until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. And then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine. And the fruitful vine for a forest. Pray. Divine acceleration. Prosperity. Financial prosperity. Happening days from now. Financial prosperity. 
a reign of wealth. I tell you, by the Spirit of God, new levels of grace, new levels of grace, new levels of grace. Who are thou mountain before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become plain at the shout of grace, 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 grace. Koto so tekete, rekete reke poja. In your academic place, grace to run like Elijah. In your job, grace, 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 grace. In your career, the grace of the Lord. Step into visions, step into dreams, joy overflowing. In the name of Jesus, your days of discouragement are over. Your days of mourning are over. As the servant of the Lord, I bring those days to an end. I interrupt your life with a prophetic word. Arise, shine, arise, shine, arise, shine, arise. Shine. The glory of the Lord is upon you. 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 Mount up with wings as eagles. Mount up with wings as eagles. You will run and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. You will run and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. They that be planted in the house of God, they shall flourish like the cedars of Lebanon. They that be planted in the house of God, they shall flourish. Hallelujah. Mark my word. This will happen days from now. It will be an avalanche. Not on a few, not on a few. Prosperity is coming. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain, new levels of anointing. I hear the sound. Scrolls are being opened in the spirit. Portals of favor, portals of grace. We shout grace. We shout grace. At the shout of grace, coin a grace unto you, coin only a grace unto you, grace and peace be multiplied to you, grace and peace move at the speed of grace beyond what you walk for, beyond your connection, beyond who you know. I bring families out of dungeons of failure, dungeons of poverty. Let the book of remembrance be open over families. Let the book of remembrance be open for your faithfulness. Let the book of remembrance be open for your diligence. Let the book of remembrance be open for thou, O Lord, art a shield for us. For thou, O Lord, art a shield for us. For our glory, the lifter up of our heads. And my hand shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. And my hand shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. And my hand shall thou exalt, shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn. And I shall be anointed with fresh oil. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the quiet waters. He restores my soul and guides me in the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, day, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me. In the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows.
health, joy, goodness, mercy, prosperity, influence, increase, praise, glory, honor, first place. Follow me. I pray to get it, brother. Come on, pray. Just for one more minute. Just for one more minute. I take it all God. I take it all God. I believe your word. I position my spirit. I open the door. I and the children that the Lord has given me we are for signs and wonders in Israel before you this day blessing and cursing I said before you this day life and death but I advise you choose life hallelujah Hallelujah. We're rounding up. I just want us to sing one song. Just one song. As a sincere cry. Lord, step in to the impossible. Oh, yes. Come on, provoke the hand of God. Change the story of families. Break through. Break through. Let there be a ray of prophetic breakthrough. Overnight miracles. By the power of God. Sing it as I prophesy to you. I speak as the servant of God. Under the abundance of grace that have been given. Let every door that has been closed over your life. I command gates. I command doors. Be open. Let the windows of heaven. The windows of abundance. The windows of grace. The windows of influence. The windows of peace. The windows of power. The windows of speed. I provoke it to your spirit. Sing it from your heart. Sing it from your heart. Lord, step in. Lord, step in. In the lives of people. Ideas. Connection. Praise. Praise. One more time. One more time. hold our hands as a family of faith lift it up to God we are agreeing we are saying Lord step in God is not a man that you should lie lift it as high above your head we are going to sing this song together are you ready now Lord step in as a family of faith my God let there be a rain of breakthrough prophetic seasons of abundance, prophetic season of increase, wipe the tears of famine, change stories overnight. Koinonia is a new season. Keep those hands lifted up. My God and my King, I pray. I did not call myself, you have called me. And you gave me a revelation of this word. The Bible says, Bless ye the Lord, the angels who excel in strength. The Bible says, Who confirmed the words of his messengers. Please keep the hands lifted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I prophesy. Lord God of Israel. 
it was like this many years ago when our father Solomon stood in front of that temple and on behalf of the nation of Israel he cried unto you my God I pray as a family of faith for we are serving a living God his name is Jesus Christ he died and he rose Just sing it one more time. I am serving a living God. His name is He died and he above all names I lay my hands upon this holy ground and I declare on behalf of the people you have called you are the head of this ministry my God I declare that every door that is closed over anyone here and any family here as sure as the Lord lives, let that door be opened this night. Oh God of Zion, hear your people speedily. Let there be a dispatch of angels. In the name of Jesus, we release angels to homes by the word of the Lord. We release finance angels. Amen. We release breakthrough angels. Amen. We release angels of deliverance. Amen. We release angels of wisdom. Amen. We release angels of grace. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I prophesy to you, grace, Amen. grace, Amen. great grace upon you. Great grace upon you without sweat begin to enter some dimensions without sweat enter some levels i call forth your destiny help us from the north the south the east and the west i provoke a connection my god you are called the father of spirits connect your people to those who need their gifts I command visions I command ideas I open doors of opportunities may you see revelations in the night may the angels of the Lord visit you may they give you ideas may the kings of your destiny look for you and bring you out the, out of the dungeons of your life breakthrough in the name of Jesus academic breakthrough marital breakthrough breakthrough in your academics spiritual breakthrough career breakthrough your days of waiting are over as the servant of God I declare that let your steps be like that of chariots let the wealth of the wicked that has been laid for the righteous let it find itself to your hands Gentiles come to your light kings to the brightness of your rising where you have been deserted so that no man goes through you I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations be exalted because you have loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even our God tonight may he anoint you with an oil of gladness above your failures rise to a new level in the name of Jesus I declare whatever has made you cry behold a new season of laughter I prophesy to you 
behold a new season of laughter the Egyptians that you see today I declare by the unction of the mighty one that you will see them no more forever and may the Lord give you a new name let Jacob be changed to Isaac let Abraham be changed to Abraham let Sarai be called Sarah let Cephas become Peter let Saul become Paul the Bible says for he that endures to the end it shall be given a crown and a white stone I call your season of abundance tonight in the heavens let the book of remembrance be open and let the days of your faithfulness be replayed before the presence of his majesty let the times of your prayer and fasting rise up as a sweet smelling sour. My God visit your people. Let the old proverbs be a thing of the past in your life. The Bible says a time will come that proverb will no longer be used in Israel. I set you free from everything that has limited you. You are unlimited. I set you free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The fire of the Holy Ghost consumes everything that attempts to limit your destiny. I deliver you from inferiority complex. That demonic voice that tells you you cannot make it. Whose report will you believe tonight? I bring you a word. Rise up thou champion of God. I speak to your spirit. Rise up from the dust. I command your spirit rise up for you are not weak i send you a word of prophecy it says and the spirit entered me and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet where your destiny has been tied down so that you will not arise as the star rose when jesus was born let a star rise above you and call wise men to your tabernacle Whatever has covered your glory and has shielded you in the name that is above all names, I declare that that light and that veil, let it be taken from your eyes. All the opportunities you've, been, you've lost in the past, I stand mistakes of the past. Whatever it is, I pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy to you. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For tonight the Lord is doing a new thing. Tonight the Lord is doing a new thing. He will make a way for you where there is no way. For those of you who are fallen, the Bible says, Is there hope for a tree, though it be cut down? I bring you a word tonight. Listen. It says there is hope for a tree, though it be cut down. At the scent of water. There are some of you here, you have dreams. And you started walking on it, but things happened and you fell back again. And the devil spoke lies to you. I bring you a word tonight. The Bible says in the book of Amos, that a lion eats up a sheep to the point that there is only an ear and two legs. Yet the shepherd runs after that lion and recovers that ear and two legs. What will you do with an ear and two legs? The lion has eaten the whole animal, but the shepherd still ran. Let me tell you, the miracle is not in what you have lost. The miracle is in what you have left. For if you will give thanks with it, like five loaves and two fish, you will lift it up. Let me tell you, there will be multiplication. For this is the season of multiplication. Hear the word of the Lord. You are not small. You are great. He made you so. You may come from a small village, but you are great. You may not be able to speak English, but the hand of God is upon you. Men have called you names. You may be staying in a hut. You came here not eating, but I bring you a prophecy. Enjoy these days because they are going forever. You will never see them again. But the psalmist says, since I was young, now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Even if it looks like you are forsaken, calm down. God is never too late. Behold, he comes. The 
Bible says, and the son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. I bring a word of comfort to someone as we round up. It's not over. Hear me, I prophesy to you, you can start again. It doesn't matter what has happened in your life. I don't care what has happened in your family. It doesn't matter how bad it is. My brother, you may have been drinking and smoking. You are struggling. You are with God. You are not with God. Let no man condemn you tonight. There is strength for you. And I command, the Bible says, and they told the prophet, they said, where we meet with you is too small. Let us go to the Jordan. And then the axe head fell. And the prophet said, where did it fall? I command miracles that you cannot explain. And the woman who lost her son in Nain, the Bible says they were already going to go and bury that child. Suddenly, Jesus stepped on the way. Many of you are about to close some chapters, but Jesus is holding it back. He's saying, who is asking you to close it? For who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not instructed? Are you hearing me tonight? I'm prophesying to you. And the Bible saw them. And Jesus saw them and said, bring back. And he brought him back to life. Three significant death incidences in the Bible. The first one, the child just died. And Jesus came to him and looked. Came to the lady and said, Talita kumi. Girl, I say unto you, arise. Who is God speaking tonight? God is speaking to some people tonight. There are some of you that this is all the prophecy you need tonight. Talita kumi to your spiritual life. Talita kumi to your finance, to your self-worth. Talita kumi. I prophesy to you arise. I prophesy to you arise. And the Bible says Lazarus was sick. And when he was sick, Jesus said it is not unto death. There are some of you, you were going through certain challenges and God told you it would be better. But it did not get better. It went worse. And the Bible says, and Lazarus died for four days. And Jesus said, do you not know that I am not just the one who heals. I am also the resurrection. Son of man, what seest thou? He said, an almond tree. He said, you have seen correct. Right, we see correctly. God is restoring dreams and shattered lives. Tonight, I'm going to make a very special altar call. All of you listen to me. There is, a, there is an anointing for restoration. The beginner's anointing is coming on some, some people. For some of you, God is not opening new chapters. He's giving you a new book entirely. Listen to me. This is, this is not just, there are two altar calls here tonight. The first, please don't just be emotional. Hallelujah. I'm talking about those, before we take those who are not born again. You are born again, you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Don't just come in emotional. You know, you know that for some reason in your life, you have found yourself struggling at the same spot, at the same level, I'm not just, I know we are all pressed. There are some people, for some of you, it's your family. You know this is, you know what I'm saying. The same cycle, the same spot, spiritually and otherwise. Please, I'd like you to lift your hands. Let me see how many people. Run out here quickly. Please, very quickly. We just have three minutes to do everything we have to do. Please, don't just be emotional. Don't be emotional and just come out. There are some people, just stand. Come near, come near. Come near to the extreme. Don't be ashamed. This is a school. This is a prophetic place. God is wiping someone's tears tonight. Believe me. Every time you are in trouble, God sends a prophetic word. When he sends a prophetic word, it can change your story in one day. Hallelujah. All of you that are standing, if there's no space, just stand there. Just stand there outside. Just stand in faith. Faith is the most important thing. Listen, some of you have struggled in the same spot for years. You would have been far ahead of you love the Lord. For some of you, it's your mistakes. Some of you, it's your carelessness. Whatever it is, it does not matter. I bring you a word tonight. No man condemns you. 
Are you listening to me? There is that precious blood that flows from Emmanuel's vein and is going to speak mercy for you. Lift your hands. I want to prophesy and curse whatever legal hold that Satan has over your life and destiny that is keeping you where you are. Hallelujah. I'd like you to shout amen when I ask you to like your life depends on it. You just need to believe. Some of you will be looking at me. It will look like magic. See, when a servant of God stands, he can change your story with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I don't know the stories that are represented here. But tonight I tell you there is one who is mightier than I. Some of you are supposed to have been married. Some of you are supposed to have left some levels. You are intelligent. You are bright. You are brilliant. But tonight, I'm praying for you. Lift your hands, my God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Satan, take your hands. Come out of her now. Come out now. Out of her. This lady has been tied. I release you tonight. Now. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Your destiny must open up. I tell you, something prophetic is happening in this place. Lift your hands, please. As I make this pronouncement, some of you will see visions of things happening immediately. Hallelujah. I'm going to shout, be open. That's the instruction God gives me. As I make that shout, some of you will literally feel something leaving you. And that will be the end of it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be open! Be open! Close destinies! Be open! Rekete posata. Be open. Be open. Be open. Breakthrough. I release breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. In your marriage, breakthrough. Every limitation before you, I burn it to ashes now. In the name of Jesus. Doors open for you. Gates open for you. Run with the spirit of Elijah. I'd like you to go back to your seat rejoicing. A miracle has happened to you. Come on, celebrate Jesus. Many of you will come back with testimonies of the fearful hand of God. Now very quickly, we've taken so much time. You've never given your heart to the Lord. Look at me, please. Inside and outside, listen. You've never given your heart to the Lord. You've not made a decision for Jesus. You may be a nice person, but you've not opened up your heart to receive salvation. Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but because of the cares of this life, you have found yourself derailing. Please, everybody stand. We're rounding up. Everybody stand up. Please, wherever you are, tonight a new beginning starts for you. My brother and my sister outside, leave your seat and come right now. Jesus is calling you. Koinonia, begin to clap for them as they come. I know that there are people. Don't be ashamed of anyone. God is giving you a new beginning. Inside and outside. You've never made a decision for Jesus. Or you've made a decision for Jesus. And you found yourself derailing. They are coming. Keep appreciating them. There are some of you here. Don't be ashamed. Don't let your friends stop you. It's a new beginning. Welcome home. Welcome home. It's a new beginning. There are still some people outside. The Lord is showing me. The devil is a liar. He cannot hold your destiny to ransom. You have cried alone. But tonight, God is giving you a new beginning. I still see a few people outside. The Lord is giving me words about people outside. Don't remain there. The Lord is still calling people. Hallelujah. Look at me. This is the best decision you would have made in your life. For the Bible says, any man who comes to him, he will in no wise cast away. 
Lift your hands to heaven. Those of you in front. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. Come and join us, sister. Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I believe you died for me. You shed your blood for my sins. Today, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. The past is gone. This is a new beginning. In the name of Jesus, I denounce sin and Satan. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Today, you are my God forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you Lord preserve these ones bless and preserve them no going back your salvation will be authentic and be genuine from today you are growing from grace to grace and one dimension of God's spirit to another in the name of Jesus. dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye! Pray! Pray! Pray for your destiny! the phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.